Ready? Ready? Yeah, we're loading in the bags. <laughs> Someone's excited. Say bye to Lola. <laughs> so excited. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Buster. Bye, Buster. Aww. He wants to come with us. <laughs> See you. Bye. 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 Bye, Buster. Bye, Buzz. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. See you soon. <laughs> Off we go. And away we go. I want to raise the seat. But you can lock it if you want. Do you want me to show you how to raise the seat up? No, it's already. You sure? I already adjusted. Okay, it's just the controls. Are, uh, they're, it's all electric on the left. Okay. Express your feelings on it. Through Haran. Like which We've arrived at the airport. Departures. Nighttime adventure. Yeah, it really is. You're having your bedtime sleep on the aeroplane tonight. <laughs> Thanks to Ria and William for dropping us off at the airport. They're now heading into BGC for a night out. <laughs> I'll come and find you. Now we wait, Story. <laughs> this is the waiting part and the queuing part. <laughs> We've checked in, we're through security, we're, we are through, the, we're at the gates, right? How long did it take, Dad? Uh, well, we've been here two and a half hours. All right, story was very good in the queue, weren't you? Super hungry. But you got super hungry, so we're in Starbucks and story has got the plant-based lasagna. Hello, where are you having lasagna? <laughs> Your Garfield. <laughs> That is what they had for you tonight, yeah. Story. Story's powering through the lasagna. How is it? I love it. Yeah? Definitely Garfield. Yes, the, funny because just the other day, Story was saying to me, what's lasagna? Didn't you? And I yeah. was explaining what it is. And now... I'm having it. You are having it, yeah. It's like a dream come true. <laughs> All right, we're out of Starbucks now. Story ate the entire lasagna and the entire cookie. She was she was really hungry. We're just sitting in a little cafe right now, but it's actually closed already. Um, but people are just still sitting in here. We are ready to fly to London. I'm feeling quite sleepy. It's about quarter past 10 now, p.m. Um, Dad's coming back. The toilets are that way. You went the wrong way. I went that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, try again. I'm going in again. <laughs> Right, we'll wait for Dad to come back and then we'll head to the gate, yes, Dory? Yeah. Story's just doing some drawing while we wait. What are you drawing? Some kind of like anime, like chibi anime who's wearing a bear hat. Oh, that's cute. So I think next time you see us now, we will be on the plane. See the plane? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I love your hair. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> what did you do? You got something to do? Oh, that's good. Okay, safe it on the right for me. Oh, sorry. Let's go. This way. What? My iPad's bum bum. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. Oh. you go, go on down you go. 
This is our row. It's like a blanket and toiletries and things, isn't it? Do you remember? Oh, there oh. you go. The headphones. Sorry. Oh, so I don't need the earplugs. <laughs> Take that. Thank you. I'm happy to be on the flight, but I'm sad to miss Daddy. But I'm so excited that we're going to fly in the air. Excited, Dad? Oh yes, very excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I get excited anymore. <laughs> Here we go. They're all watching our films. Stowe's watching Cats in the Museum. <coughs> so the Emirates ladies have just come round and taken a Polaroid photo of us and put it in here, giving it to Story. Yeah. Isn't that a lovely idea? And she also gave this. Yes. Yeah, open it up. So Stuart's got a new bag and a plushie. That an Emirates aeroplane. And now a photograph. Really cool. So stubby. Our food has just been delivered. We got the vegan meal. That's Matty rice with a vegetable ratatouille and a little pot of fruit there and some water. Story's not really hungry because she obviously ate in Starbucks and it is one o'clock in the morning. This is the really weird thing about flying is eating food when you don't normally. We should be fast asleep right now, yet here we are having dinner. That had got the gluten free meal. How is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> it's not the best, but it's okay. You'll fill a gap. Yeah, yeah it's alright. <laughs> How's the melon story? How's the melon? Oh, um, you know I wasn't actually really hungry. Oh, no. There's honeydew, papaya and pineapple. I'm going to have the pineapple. Okay, Dad's gluten-free meal was actually beef tenderloin with basmati fried rice. And he said it's pretty harmless. <laughs> Nothing too sinister in it. <laughs> it will fill a gap. There's a gluten-free meal there on Emirates and it is pretty dark right now to film even though we've got our lights on but um yeah there we go dinner so we are coming into descend into dubai now Yay. we're halfway story had five and a half hours of sleep oh i did though you done really well laid on my lap and i just managed to go to the toilet <laughs> <laughs> i snuck out i put a pillow underneath when granddad moved um it's been a good flight so far uh, we didn't really eat the breakfast because it was we were all feeling a bit story was fast asleep and me and dad were just feeling a little bit inhuman <laughs> too tired to eat but we had muesli with pineapple and a bread roll with vegan spread and some fruit i've actually kept the bread roll in case story wants it when we're out in dubai airport as a snack in case there's nothing to eat there but yeah all good feeling okay now <laughs> And I'm glad Story got a good sleep in. Excited for the next part of the journey. How are you Yay, feeling? Happy. You feeling happy? I'm tired. Happy and tired. Well, you've had the most sleep of everybody. <laughs> the thing is, I'm tired because I haven't had enough sleep. Yeah, I know. You, don't, you haven't had enough sleep. Maybe on the next flight. We need to get to A gate and we're going to head there first and then hopefully stop for a bit of a coffee but this is what the inside of the Dubai airport looks like. We have got an 
hour and 15 minutes and we're just having a snack. Dad's just bought a coffee, thank you Dad. A oh, rather expensive coffee. <laughs> welcome back to the uh, civilised world. So what would this Americano have been in pesos? I don't you know, the whole thing out? was like 19 quid. 19 quid two for one. Two coffees and a croissant. Yeah, two coffees and a croissant. I want a packet of crisps for story. Who is putting the crisps in her bread roll that I took from the plane. <laughs> All right, enjoy. So yeah, we're just going to sit here and wait for a bit. An hour left until our London flight. Flight 95. For this? Five pound 95. So my Americano, Dad's just worked out. £5.95. It better be the best Americana I've ever had. It would be. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly done with my coffee. Story's just doing some drawing and a little bit of her activity book. And shes just, I've just put together her backpack that she got from the plane. It was really good. Yeah. And she's got a little toy on the back. Look. How she vibrates. That's a nice little souvenir, isn't it? And yes. it's nice for me as well because I managed to get all stories, toys and pencils and notepads out of my bag <laughs> and transferred them into stories. And a hello from this side of the world. Poppy's doing well, I'm doing well. At this part in the journey, I've already been alone for a couple of days and it's been fine, just been getting on with work and you may have noticed that when I dropped Sasha off at the airport I wasn't in our car. Where's that poppy? Our car is broken. Oh no. That's right, the suspension actually packed in so I had to order some new parts and they have just been delivered actually. So I will unbox those at the moment. One problem with Island Life is everything has to be ordered from the mainland so that took like a few days to get here. One thing that becomes quite clear when I watch this journey over to the UK is how long everything takes. I mean leaving the island to go to the UK it's not really that long to get from Manila to England it's like 12 hours on a flight if you could go direct but unfortunately all the direct flights from Manila to London have stopped they don't do those anymore so hopefully they'll resume those in the future that would make things a lot easier a lot less transit. Something else I've noticed watching through the footage is that when you see travel through the eyes of a child, it renews your interest in it. Like when Sasha asked her dad if he was excited, he was like, yeah, I guess so. Don't really get excited about stuff anymore. But when you ask stories, she's like, oh, look, I can see land. Oh, look, there's a big building there. Oh, what's that mountain? Why is there snow? And it does make you feel like you reinvigorate travel. You make it have a new purpose. So I'm really glad that story is going to get to see her family and get to see England again, it's been a few years. I'm excited to see how the trip pans out. You miss your sister? Yes, I miss her very much. Every time I go on the beach, I go missing. I think I'm looking for him. It's true, Poppy doesn't normally do that, but when we go on walks on the beach now, she'll run away for sometimes up to 20, 30 minutes. And uh, yeah, it's a bit um, alarming for me, but I do think that she senses something's up. It's okay, they're fine, they're just traveling. I'll be back soon enough. Let's open this box. It smells super rubbery in here. We've got all these suspension parts to fit. Fix our Honda, get it back on the road. I actually quite enjoy that smell. It smells like the old days when I used to work with cars. But I don't want to do this repair myself, so I will find somebody to fit this for me and then I can get mobile again. So let's head back to Sasha's journey and see where they are in their part of the travels. Do you reckon that's our plane story over there? Probably. I think so. We've just taken a picture next to it, or <laughs> with it in the background. So hopefully that could be. If, if it's not that one, then it'll be one that looks exactly like that. All right, the sun is now up in Dubai and we are checked into our gate, ready to go. Ready for the last leg of the journey, Dad? Yes, second <laughs> half of the journey, here we come. Me too, yeah, yeah I'm ready. ready. Refreshed. Raring to go. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's board. So excited. Quick bad search. Tall bridge. See how big these 
these things up. Yeah, people going down here. Sorry. Yeah. Here we come, London. <laughs> Excited! Hey, here we go. Oh, the way down. We want row 80, 84 story. This is 55, so we've got to go down a bit further, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, go forward story. Thank you. Next bit. Oh, you couldn't have got us further down the back. So <laughs> you know, hey? Keep going, yeah, 84. You couldn't have got us further away if you play. That's it. This is us for the next seven hours. It's about seven hours? Yeah, seven hours and something. Thank you. It's looking really hazy out in Dubai today, but just where that plane is about to go past, that is the Burj Khalifa building over there. The tallest building in the world. For now. <laughs> Show you a little bit of our seat set up here. Dad's got the aisle, I'm in the middle, Story's got the window, and we've got plugs, USB. I actually charged my phone fully on the last flight, so that was really handy. And I'm going to finish off watching the film that I was watching in the middle of the night. Got little cup holders. Oh no, that's not it. Here. There we go, cup holder, leg room check, pretty decent. It went off, just taken off. Bye, Dubai. Just go straight in, I'm just saying. What have you got, Dan? So we've got an apricot gluten-free Danish. Hey, you're wow. happy about that. And something that was missing on the last flight, we've got some cake. Yeah, Dan's sad on the last flight because he didn't have any cake in his gluten-free meal. So we've got <laughs> a yoghurt and some cake. Nice. So I'm very nice, happy with that. A little snack. Yeah. I guess this is, is, this, this is like lunchtime now, isn't it? I'm not sure. I've <laughs> kind of lost all track yet. of time, to be honest. But it looks good, so we'll eat it. Enjoy. <laughs> Mine and Stories hasn't been delivered yet, but we've got the vegan meal coming. We got our food, haven't we? Soya yogurt. Yeah. Strawberry flavour. The two best things. <laughs> what else? Have vegan got? meal. I don't know. Actually, know what that is. That looks like a little muffin, is it? No. And then. Oh, a strawberry. No. That is yes. a strawberry. Got a strawberry and it's got your name on it. That's so sweet. Yay! Yeah, look, I've got one too. Look, we've got a strawberry granddad. You've got a strawberry yogurt too. Actually, nice peach yours. I've got apricot. Oh, apricot. And also, one more thing. We've got a hot fajita, vegetable fajita. Do you want to have the hot thing first? Yeah. The food on this leg of the journey has been miles better than the Manila to Dubai. Yeah, the plane is much nicer, just a much more enjoyable journey. I don't think I've got to the filling yet. No, let me just have a bit of bread. <laughs> Probably. They've noticed the muffin is actually also gluten free and vegan. Fantastic. Star is still working on hers. <laughs> She's enjoying it. And this is what I'm watching. Enjoying it so far. How's the yogurt story? This is very good. Just saving her strawberries for dessert. Coffee time. Now I've got three hours till London and they're actually bringing around the lunch. Dad's got his first again. They seem to dish up the gluten free meals first, don't they? Yeah, I've got cod. <laughs> <laughs> fish. Dad's got a fish meal. Cod and veg and there's some beans, bread, crackers, cheese, nuts, what's that? I don't know. Let's see. Cake. Gluten free cake. Wow. Yeah. It's real feast. Happy with it? Yeah, good. Okay. It's good. Enjoy. Getting stuck in. <laughs> Story's just woken up from another little nap, haven't you? Yeah. 
an hour and a half nap, which is good. Keep her going. You're going to watch another film. The one thing I want to show you first. Yeah, okay. I hearted something. You hearted trolls? Yeah. You enjoyed it? Yeah. Oh, good. Do you want to watch another film? Yeah. I think it's about a puffy for you. Yeah. Look at mine and Story's vegan feast. I have to say, the Emirates vegan meal has been the best so far on this Dubai to London flight. Sweet and sour vegetables with rice, pop joy and pumpkin. Very hot. <laughs> We've got a little bag of cashew nuts, bread roll, vegan spread for. We've got vegan cheese with crackers, a vegan coffee creamer, beans, bean salad, a chia pudding for dessert with almond flakes. Happy with that and of course a little water. I don't think Sora's going to eat the main meal but she's going to have the fruit and the chia and the bread and just have some picky pickies, yeah? Yeah, can I just be a picky girl? Picky lunch? Yeah. Pick out of that what you want. Dad's cleaned his plate. Yeah. Well done. It's very good. <laughs> well done, Emirates. Yeah. I just made Story a cheese roll. <laughs> There's vegan cheese and vegan margarine. How is it? So good. This is the best plane day ever. Aww, cheese roll, you're happy. <laughs> yeah. So we're not quite sure where we are though, because I don't know what mountains they are. You look like there's some kind of part of a volcano or something. Granddad's, Granddad's just checking now where we are. We are over Europe somewhere though. Just two and a half hours away from Gatwick now. Up. <laughs> Update from the toilet. <laughs> the, uh, they don't hand out those little amenity packs anymore, so we had to ask, or Dad asked for some toothbrushes, and they just gave us some toothbrushes, individual toothbrushes, so we will come to freshen up, so we're ready for our landing. By the time we get to where we're going, it's going to be like a 24 hour travel, so we're all feeling it a bit, but this part of the journey has been really good. Story's been amazing, of course, excellent travelling. So I'm now going to brush my teeth after our very delicious lunch and get back to watching my show. villages and patches yeah. and just some clouds yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, but I don't see any trees absolutely too many wows we've got five minutes till we land <laughs> five minutes oh my gosh this, this is amazing amazing Big plonk. <laughs> it's going to 
Where we landed. <laughs> we landed. This is amazing. Oh my god, I can't believe we're in England. This is the best day ever. Right, that's it, we're here. Yeah. Now we've got to get our bags and do all the rest of it. <laughs> Almost done. Yay, hi England. From the plane to the car. We are here, we're in England, we're in Surrey right now, we've just left the airport. We rented a Kia, uh, it's quite a nice little car. We've managed to all fit in nicely, although Story's got the cases next to her as well, there wasn't enough room in the boot for it all. Yeah. But happy Story? Yeah. Excited? Definitely. Yeah. to do was run in Papa's garden that's yeah. sweet yeah not not uh, <laughs> it's not not very good this time because it's been awful i've just cut all my roses down so we've just left Irma's house it was a bit of a quick stop with Irma tonight but after a long day of travel we were just picking up some shopping bits and some of my clothes that i had left there from before we're now driving to our Airbnb, which is about a half an hour drive from where Irma lives, but it's much closer to where my mum lives in Essex. It'll be like a five minute walk from my mum's house. So we're driving there now, and I'm gonna end my little part of the video, my travel day, and hand you back over to Jay. Yeah, exactly. And if anyone's curious, my dinner tonight is moringa curry with beans and also a chickpea omelette, which needs to stop cooking now. I'll cut that into pieces, put it in my curry, have with rice. There's also some miso paste in there to give it a lovely flavour. And I baked myself a loaf of bread the other day, which I've been working my way through and I'll be enjoying that tonight. Poppy's probably going to be sharing some of the scraps, aren't you Poppy? You're always nearby, waiting for scraps to fall. Oh yeah, I know the deal. Hang around and things fall into your meat. It's true, things do fall into your mouth, don't they? It's a cheeky one. Also took care of the laundry. There's a lot of Sasha's and Stories clothes there that didn't get washed as well, so that's now done. And let's give you a view out the window before the daylight goes. Beautiful afternoon light over the beach. What a place to live, eh? Um, wasn't it nice to see my mum, Papua, looking very strong, tall and upright there in England. I haven't seen her since like September last year. So it's a shame that I'm not there but you know, maybe next time we'll be able to all go together as a family. I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody who's been donating to the Global Giving Campaign. We've almost reached 1,800 US dollars as the time of making this video, which is a big help, but we've still got a long way to go. We really want to open the Shargar Recycling Studio, so if you can help, check out the links down below. It does make a huge difference to the island and the climate and the rest of the world. I'm going to end the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's do a shout out first. And that goes to RG and Aznan. Huge thank you for becoming a member of our channel. We appreciate it a lot. If you guys are interested in getting your own shout out, check out the links for joining to become a member on our YouTube channel. There's different tiers. There's like shout out tiers, weekend vlog tiers where we do exclusive videos. So just go give it a check. And if you want to support, you can do it that way. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.